Here we have another simple problem. We have a container containing one kg of water at zero degree Celsius. There is a steel rod joining this chamber to a steel chamber or to a steam chamber having steam at hundred degree Celsius. Now the area of cross section of the steel rod at the length of the steel rod is given. We have also been given with the specific heat of water that to be four one eight zero joule per kg degree Celsius. The, we can assume that there is no loss of heat to surroundings and this container does not absorb any heat. We need to find out the time taken for the temperature of water to rise to 50 degree Celsius from 0 degree Celsius. So, the first thing you need to find out is what is the heat current across this steel rod. So, for that let us first find out the heat current. This can be written to be heat current in this direction will be equal to temperature over here minus temperature upon here upon the thermal resistance of the rod that is equal to 100 minus 0 upon initial heat current was different. Let the heat current at time t. Now, we have to integrate in this question because we see that the temperature at this end is keeping on changing. Let the temperature of water at time t be equal to capital T. Now, the heat current at any time t can be written to be equal to 100 minus t upon r where r is the thermal resistance of the rod. Now, the thermal resistance of the rod can be written to be equal to x upon k. Now, since the x is fixed that is the length which is along the direction of the current, this area of cross section is also constant therefore, we can directly calculate r. This comes out to be equal to 10 into 10 upon k the thermal conductivity. The thermal conductivity of the steel rod is 46 w upon m k forgot to mention it k steel is equal to this much because 10 upon 46 into the area of cross section which is coming perpendicular to the current which is equal to 10 centimeter square that is 10 into 10 raise to minus 4 is equal to 10 raise to 4 upon 46. So, we know the value of r. Let us solve the question now. This is the heat current. So, when the temperature is T, it rises from T plus dt due to this heat current. This heat current multiplied by a small time interval dt will give you the heat supplied in dt time. This is equal to mass of water into specific heat of water into small change in temperature of the water. Now, the value of i is known. So, we write 100 minus T upon r into dt. This is equal to mass of water into specific heat of water into small change in temperature. Now, this can be written as 1 upon R m s into d t is equal to d t upon 100 minus t. This is small d t, this is capital D t. We integrate both of these. The temperature rises from 0 degree Celsius to 50 degree Celsius and the time taken is 0 to Therefore, we can write T upon RMS is equal to ln of 1 upon 100 minus T and the limits are 0 to 50. On solving this, we get T upon RMS is equal to ln of 1 upon 50 minus ln of 1 upon 100 this is equal to ln of 1 upon 50 divided by 1 upon 100 that is equal to ln of 2. Therefore, we get the time as r into m into s into ln 2. So, we have got the actual answer we just need to feed in the values now. T is equal to r m s into uh, ln 2 the value of mass of water is 1 kg specific heat of water is given to be 4180 into ln of 2. Now, the value of r was 10 raised to 4 upon 46. Therefore, we multiply this by 4180 ln 2 to get our final answer as 6.27 into 10 raised to 5 seconds. So, final answer for the time taken for the temperature of water to rise to 50 degree Celsius comes out to be 6.27 into 10 raised to 5 seconds. Uh, the thing which you should have noted down in the important thing which you should, uh, should have noted down in this question is that we have to integrate because 
the temperature at this end is keeping on changing so that uh, heat current is not constant therefore we integrate to find out the change in temperature uh, corresponding to the heat current so final answer is 6.27 into 10 to the power 5 seconds